Hi viewers, we're doing a quick update on some blooms that we haven't seen yet. Um, before I do the Cuthbert Sonii video, Herkoglossum flowers are just beginning to go over. I don't think I even um, showed you that one to start with actually. It was um, in the other greenhouse when we were doing all the others but uh, this is the intermediate house and it's been hanging up there it's quite a lot everywhere flowers everywhere they're just beginning like those up there they're going that one's fallen off those will be there's one that's going there's quite a few that are going so they'll all start dropping here we have we saw him in great detail last time cerula and here, Stricklandianum again, his flowers are going a lot slower than um, the other ones, so um, he's doing all right. I've been raging war in this greenhouse with the slugs, trying to stop them from ruining all of my um, neophonesias, which is what they've been trying to do. They've been chewing the um, flower spikes halfway up and there were some that if you keep these in if you keep these plants too dry when they're growing and about to flower and pushing up the flower spikes the flower spikes will abort and I took my eye off the ball for a weekend and that's when they started aborting but stopped that now and now we're having to deal with the slugs Got slug pellets everywhere, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Trouble is, in the UK, they stop us. They don't allow us to have anything. And the one thing we could do was use slug clear, which was a liquid that you made up to the whatever the consistency was, and you put every pot in it and ran it through. Um, and you were quite sure then of not having any slugs, especially getting to your plants. I mean, they were hiding in my um, Mastervalia house and they were going underneath the moss. Here, in these um, neophonesias, because of the pots that they like to be in, here's a for instance, what you need to do each day is tip the pots upside down because the little beggars like to then go to sleep up there when they fed. So, um, oh look, 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 another flower spike coming right there. Beautiful plant this, the variegations just coming on the leaves. Only a single fan, but it's gonna have a flower spike. Now one thing we have got, my green Neophonesia, I have tried. I've killed two of these. Look at that. Beautiful flower. It's called, but it's Vanda now. I still call them Neophonesias. Vanda falcata hisui. Um, I had two of them and I killed them both. And it didn't matter what I did. It just died. And this year I saw it for sale in Akerns in Belgium, who are not a supplier of... Um, Neos, but they had a couple, and I thought, you know what, I can't, can't go far wrong because it's probably a single fan and it's probably grown in bark and it, you know, <laughs> we'll take a chance. And I got it in May, and this is the quickest I've never seen a flower spike on a hisui. Not many flowers on each spike, but it's a very young plant. It's only got one fan. And you can see down here, can you see? Yeah. Green roots, green tips going down into the bark. So I'm gonna try and keep it in the bark all through the winter in the hope that I can, no sign of a new fan, but the minute these are flowered and I've got a decent picture of all the flowers open. I am cutting the spike off because I want the plant to live. 
So, um, and if you want to save it, that is the best way to do it. And here's some interesting colours on, there's going to be pink tinges to this one because we've got a ruby root, uh, ruby stalk. Which one is this? Zuzaku. Lovely flowers that's going to be. That's going to be nice. Here is one of my favourite called Reikumaru. He's only got three flowers on there this year. But it's still a nice spike. Gorgeous flowers, that one is. Nice pink. And over there, I have a yellow one, which is a hybrid. And it's called Cabana. And it opens pure white. I was very disappointed when it first opened. It's last spikes when I saw it for the first time. now we've got the densest yellow look at that tiny white in the center but and that's done that in the space of a week got to that color very very pale when it opens very very pale but um here's another one that i've not flowered before this is just a plain white one. They all come, flowers come in different shapes and sizes. Some have triple spurs, some have single spurs, some have spurs coming out a different way. I'm getting eaten by Spanish moss. This one's got three flower spikes. And this is one that I killed. This, I didn't kill this one. This is a new one last year, but I killed the one I had before. But it's taken me five years to get to grips with these plants. And I suppose because they are specialist, they are fussy. Some are easy, some aren't. Um, but we just um, deal with whatever comes on these. And this time of year, you're going to lose the bottom leaves on some of them, and they, they do attract mealybugs. Oh, they are in heaven for mealybugs, these. And you'll find them down in the um, crevices of the fans. And here's one with a different characteristic. You may think there's something wrong with that. But it's the type, it's a sumi, which is called a mami sumi because that's what this variegation and the difference colour is on the leaves. They're meant to be like that. See, those haven't got it yet. Got some here. And these have got green root tips. Are they brown or green? They're brown. These have got brown root tips. Some get green, some get red, some get yellow. Um, and they have different shapes and sizes of things. You get all different sorts of variegation. These pine leaf ones, though, I don't, I'm not a fan of because they're harder, in my opinion, to get to grow. But grow them, we did. And they became a bit of an obsession. So um, if I turn you around there, you can have a quick peek. the uh, Cuspetsonii that are in flower. That's only some of them. Um, all of those are hybrids, there's no species there. I've got together all my bits and pieces now. I'm hoping by the end of the week to have done the um, video on the Cuspetsonii because I've got species in flower and I've got lots of um, hybrids in flower and my project whereby I cut the flower spikes up and laid them on moss that I've showed you before. They've now come out of the propagator and they're uh, on the bench and growing quite profusely. So um, eventually I need to take them out and pot them up so that I can sell them because I can't keep them all. I just did it to see if I could do the exercise and actually succeed in growing them and propagating them and I did. So I was very pleased with that. I was very grateful for that as well because it was something I wanted to do. 
and it was supposed to be quite easy but I didn't think it would work like that. Here is a beauty. Look at this, the way this grows. This is what they call a large bean leaf. It's a giant of a plant, but two flower spikes and you can see where the last year's spikes were and we've got a new growth here and a new growth here. This doesn't grow the new growth. You might get one a year if you're lucky. Some they throw up a few, some don't throw any up. That one throws up, um, well, that's a couple. I bought that off of a friend last year, so I don't know how long it took to get the um, flower spikes to come. Now I'm going to pause this and take you next door. Back in a minute. Right, we're back. Forgot to show you this one. This is a different one. To show you that the flowers are not all the same. And look at the way this is. This is a tiny, tiny flower. It should be twice that size, but this is a very young plant and I'm actually amazed it's flowering. Um, but those flowers will come out white and they've just got the spurs coming the other way and they look like um rockets really i think oh well i think that anyway so we shall see we shall see when we finished now i've turned that other fan on so let's shut this door and look at the orangus wall but on the orangus wall is I don't know if it'll go in far enough. I'll probably have to. No, it won't. I need to lift it up. I need to lift it up because it needs to come off. And after being moved and taken off, and all the roots cleaned and the leaves, dead leaves taken off, uh, we've got lots of new growth down there. And it's taken a very short time to do this and still it puts out flowers. So I'm quite confident now that this is going to grow on and it can spend years on that piece of wood. And I wish I'd done it sooner. And next time, if I've got any more Lepanthes, which I shall, um, I will do it straight away after watching bobbies and seeing what this did um i will definitely do them straight away and here's another miniature with would you believe green flowers it's called canberensi canberensi i can't read the writing tiniest let me get that to two and hopefully you see some of the flowers are going over because they're going yellow but just look at them come on so dainty so delicate but flowers its head off every year and has now got one two three new growths on it four new growths on it so i think it's loving life up there it's just you can't take a picture of it it's awful to take a picture of i think i'll one day have to get my macro lens out what we've got here that the um mealy bugs were trying it's a miniature fowl hybrid. Let's have a flower, thank you. Delicate, dainty, dainty leaves. It's called fowl janine and it's speciosa crossed with lindenii. So, delicate little flowers. Um, 
which I'm quite pleased with. I haven't seen them before. But, oh, we've got to look at this because I don't think it's going to be long before those flowers go. Hamimi Lano Glossum. Four spikes. It's still got buds open on. Oh, well, no, it hasn't. Yes, it has. It's got one on that one. Still got them growing. You can see the ones that are growing yellow. So they've had a beautiful innings. We've only got one new growth, though. But now that it's settled down, I think it might put more up next time. Because it seems to be quite happy. And I quite like it. Ah, now what I need to show you is over there. Let me just move that. Don't move because you're attached and charging. Oh, can I get it from there? I don't know. What shall we do? There are some new plants in here, unusual plants that I have got. Miniatures as well. I never did miniatures before. There's one. Ah, and you've seen this one, but I'm going to put it on again because there's more flowers open. Some have started to go over. This is my Phalaenopsis parishii. With, get out of the way. All of its buds open now. Six tiny length flower spikes, but what a display. They're fading now, though. They don't seem so bold. I don't think it'll be long before they're lost, but just look at the detail in those flowers. It's so dainty and so delicate. I love this. It's just a shame about the damage on the leaves, but that came when I had it, so I can't do anything about that except try and do better and not let them get damaged anymore. Now what we've got here is another plant that came, it's another miniature, came out of Graham's greenhouse, our member who we sadly lost and Alan my friend kept one and I had the smaller one. The one Alan kept is twice this size and thanks to Bobby who pointed me in the right direction we got the name correct I couldn't read the writing it faded so much on the back that it's now got a label on Ornithocephalus manabina this one and if you think that's a mouthful you should wait until you see the other ones that I've got coming um, but I cut all the dead spikes off, thinking, well, that's that for this year. That's flowered its heart out. And you can see in there, look, flower spikes everywhere. Just everywhere. Even down in there, more coming in there. Under there. And this is a species endemic to, oh, and back there, to Ecuador. Warm to hot grower. Um, there's no information, other information found about it. Um, well, not that came up on my database anyway. Um, it's a recognized, it's part of the Maxillaria tribe and from the Epidendroidae family, which is a very broad spectrum of um, plants. But this has got beautiful white long flower spikes. When I say long, they're long for the size of the plant. Um, with white, pure white flowers, and they're like papery, waxy, like see-through. They're beautiful, if they're as good as what I've seen on the... Um, database of plants that are people that have posted plants um, there 
So watch this space, it'll be very interesting. I don't think it'll be more than a couple of weeks before those start to show themselves, unless I've got it completely wrong, but I don't know that because I don't know the, um, I don't know the genus. And considering that considered, it's quite a big genus. Um, and here we have some bicolour. No, Shushlin, Dendrobium Lawessii. It's not bicolour, it'd be pink and white. It's supposed to be a red one. It's red and orange. So, that hasn't got many on it, but it's only a baby. Only a baby. And our Darwinara blue charm. Oh, we've got the other. Let's turn you there, lower you. Because on our Dendrobium Ron and Dom, as we're here, both of the, um, you can see the difference. The peachiness of the new flowers has gone from this bunch of two, but look at it. Even now, I still like the flowers, but that first colour is glorious, isn't it? I love the peachiness of it. It's just beautiful. So he's going to be around for a bit longer, which is very, very nice. Um, I don't think there's much else out here. There's new buds. This is a first time flower. Uh, didn't have much. It's a rhododendron. Roots weren't very good and I've potted it in um, bark to save it. So I'm going to let these flowers flower purely and simply because I want a picture of them for my orchid records and then I shall cut them off. Um, because I've planted this in bark in a see-through pot so that we can get some roots on it for next year. And I've also got another, I'm not gonna show you that because I haven't put the label in it and I've forgotten what the name is. It's not a species I've heard of before. Now, I don't think there's any more flowers in here. I need to go indoors. Oh, I'll tell you what I will show you because I was quite, oh, no. I'm gonna stop you and get you in a better position because um, Old Fulham Lion King has opened two more flowers. I really need to get you the other side of the greenhouse because it's in the far corner. And I don't want to make you seasick so I'll stop you and start you again. Be back in a minute. There it is. I can't grow Old Fulham, but I can grow that one. It's happy. It's a big plant now. Um, I got, got it from McBean's when it was being sold off when it's, they were selling off for the first time from the original owners. And it didn't do a lot. Oh my word, you're sticking out more plants. Um, yeah, but I saw it at the last congr uh, Congress several, about five, six, six years ago plus. First one I went to that was held at Ridlington, BOC Congress, long time ago. And I loved it and I've never seen it since. And it's just the most beautiful, beautiful yellow. Um, and that's probably as close as we can, yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's pull that back. Pull you back. Let's see if we can go in on that soon. Well, we can. Look at that, without it going out of focus. And it's got tiny little bits on the top as well. Um, the flowers don't last long. You can see the flower spikes that are still there from the two that have already flowered. They last a couple of weeks, but they are a thing of beauty. Um, it's the only successful buff of film I've ever grown, apart from um, the smelly one, which was, can't remember. Oh, Rothschildianum I grew okay. That liked to grow for me, but um, the others don't seem to like me. There's something I don't do right. Um, but we can't grow everything, can we? We can't, we just can't. It's not possible, but I find them a tricky genus, but um, other people grow them quite easily. Well, this is one as well. I don't know if anybody knows. This Bobby, you, you might be... Um, up on these. I've got a Dendrobium lobulatum, which looks like this. 
This is another one of Graham's. I just wonder whether it's a lot heartier or if it is in actual fact a dendrobium lobulatum because if you can get in there, it's got one, two, three, four, five new clusters. And the reason I say is I've got lobulatum, but the growth on it looks slightly a different shape to me. Um, got mine hanging up the other way. Let's put it up that way. Mine's bigger, they're spread out more. Which is what makes me think it might not be. It's not lobulatum, whether it is one of the Lockhartiers. And Graham did like to do unusual, but it looks as though it flowers on the end the same as this one does. So, be very interested if anybody knows anything about this one. Um, There's another one where the label's gone, I'm afraid, which was one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Five, six, there's seven. There's seven new growths. I'm just throwing water at it like it's going out of fashion. There's obviously been exposed to light, too much light at some point because it's gone yellow, but the newer ones are coming up all right. And we've managed to save it and keep it growing. So it's another unusual plant that I would never have chosen, but quite like the look of, so, and because it was Graham, I want to just grow it successfully, because the man was a genius, and he had such a wicked sense of humour, very dry, but wicked, we shall miss him, that's for sure, which is why we need to keep his orchids going, get them to people who carry on growing them, the ones that we've managed to save, um, there's more to come yet, apparently, but I picked up the dendrobiums. Um, that Ainsworthy eye, is that Ainsworthy eye as well? Yeah, what's that one? Yeah, Ainsworthy This is Amabilis, I think. Um, we've got different stuff here. But stuff that we don't know about as well, because that's called a Celti eye. So there's all different sorts of things in here now but I'm going to leave it there because the boys oh we can't go without looking at this can we Asco Finesse Cherry Blossom I picked its first uh, dropped bud up today so we won't see that for very long I don't think another week maybe um, that'll be it for that but there's other stuff coming coming out. All these things going on. I what I didn't do was spray that today, which was a bit remiss. That was a bit remiss because you won't be a happy plant, will you? Have you broken another thing off as well? Now, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to stop it there, folks. Hopefully over the weekend I can get... By the weekend, I can get the dendrobium, that's the Sony eye video that somebody requested done. Got more time this week, thankfully. And there were little beings coming to see me. Oh, mind you, it was lovely to see my little beings. I haven't seen them for so long. So, um, on that note, I'll go. And just a quick update, as I haven't done anything for a while. So, I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching as always. Um, stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye now.